Um, you know, I love all the support I get. Um, I couldn't have made it to this point without everyone in my corner, uh, you know, coaches and family and, you know, all of the above. So I'm, I'm grateful for everyone. What does mentality the change at all with, you know, the injury situations with a couple of other guys and one that you might be relied on more of a focal point in the offense in some of these uh, games coming up? Uh, I don't think it changes too much, you know. At the end of the day, football is football. I've played it my whole life, so I was everyone else on the on the roster. So, I mean, we're going to go out there Saturday and every Saturday to come, and we're just going to play the game that we love. Um, it doesn't matter if, you, if you're if you the main target on the offense. You're just, you know, you're, you're there to do your job, and if you do your job well, it's going to be a good day. What is Steve Johnson been doing recently? How cool is that looking for him on Saturday? I mean, no one can tell you like what what X means, not just to the receiver room, to the entire team. He's a leader. Um, people want to be around him. People want to follow him. Uh, he just really sets a standard for what a for what a Buckeye is, honestly. And um, you know, it's, it's great to see him in the game he had. Um, I'm excited for the rest of the season, and I, I'm just glad to call my brother. Um, no, I don't think it, I don't think it changes much. Uh, obviously, we'd love to have Jackson, uh, but at the end of the day, you know, everyone in Buckeye Nation can be extremely confident with with who Coach Hart puts on the field, uh, and you know, we're we're ready to execute uh, everything depending on who we have or not. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, I mean, what I'm saying is the road that prepared you for Jackson going out right. in this whole game. That was a big shock that, that going into this game, sort of. Yeah. Uh, right. Right. yeah, I mean, uh, you know, having that experience in the Rose Bowl, uh, you know, me and Marvin and Julian all playing more, uh, getting acclimated to, you know, the throw CJ's going to make and stuff like that, and just getting in rhythm with him was really big, and I, I think that uh, showed up to all of us. What makes your skill set so suitable? I would say I feel very confident in my abilities at, at receiver. Um, the slots ask to do some different things that the outside uh, doesn't do, especially when you get that mismatch on safeties. Um, so, I mean, there's nothing I think I, I can't do on the field. And, you know, just playing with that confidence in the slot um, and knowing that you're not going against a guy who traditionally guards man to man and stuff like that. Um, just having that mismatch is big. You like that? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, what are you thinking when you see the safety? Speed. Speed off the ball, getting to open up, flip his hips, uh, you know, mess with the top, the top end of the route, uh, see what I can do, and then make a play on the ball. Hey, Michael, what, do you remember saying anything to Xavier when it was obvious he was going to have to play more? Uh, any kind of encouragement or any kind of key words, or key I actually, phrase? I actually do remember. Um, we, I went over to X on the sideline uh, when I knew that he was going to be going in the slot and bumping me to outside. I went over to him and I just, I said, you know, do what you've always done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's had a great fall camp, a great spring. I mean, anyone who's been here at practice a lot could see that he's done so well. Um, I can't speak enough about how he's done. And I just, I just walked up to him, tapped him on the helmet, and told him to just put on display what he's been working. What does it mean for him? You know, because you've been in this position. What does it mean for him to have significant time? How much different a player are you the next game? You understand what I'm saying? I mean, from a confidence standpoint, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I know I mean, he's played with special teams yeah, forever. You know? Yeah. Um, getting those jitters out is big. I remember, you know, going into Saturday, I knew it was going to be, you know, really my first collegiate start. Um, and, you know, I was I was confident, but I was also nervous at the same time. But uh, the first time those pads those pads hit, kind of all the nerves washed away. So having a X get that that first touchdown under his belt, his first yeah. catch, I mean that I can't. That's so big for him. And um, I'm excited to see what he does this week and all the weeks to come. Did you feel a responsibility going into that game that you hadn't felt before in college? You understand what I'm being a starter. You understand what I'm saying? Meaning, you're not a guy that's going in and kind of, you know, enhancing yeah. things. You're you're one of the dudes from the start. There's definitely more of a responsibility I felt, but um, I knew that I had put in the work. Um, I knew that I knew all the plays from every position on the field, every wide receiver position that is. And I knew, you know, if I just went out there and I've been and I execute my plays like I do in practice and like I do in the walkthroughs and just, you know, trust my hands like I do on the jugs machine every day with Marvin and X and all them guys, uh, I knew I was going to be all right. How much were you working in the slot before um, Saturday? 
Uh, Coach Hart does a good job of moving us all around. Um, when we take sets in practice, he'll just be like, Mac, you go on the slot. Marvin, you go to the um, field receiver. You know, we mix and match a lot. So um, we're, we're very confident in being able to know the plays and execute them at a high level. Um, and that's, that's a lot of credit to Coach Hart because he moves us around, makes sure we're good with everything. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of the stuff that it comes with moving around receiver, it's not just knowing your route, not just knowing your plays, but knowing where to line up, knowing what coverage you're looking for, knowing if you're the reader, you're not the read, stuff like that. I wanted to ask you about someone on defense too. Tanner McAllister, what's he like to go up against the Giants? Yeah, T-Mac's a great competitor, um, and especially when I played in the slot a lot. Um, he just, he, he does really well on the field. Um, he's a great leader off the field, and I'm, I'm really uh, glad that he transferred here. Up. Um, it, it's pretty even, honestly, 50 50 split. You know, you try to get all the plays you can because you don't know what the situation is going to be like on Saturday. You know, like Jackson went down, I didn't know if I was going to be playing slot outside, so you just got to be prepared for everything. Is your level of comfort kind of about the same, like, yeah, I'd say so. I'd say so. Play. Yeah, I'd say I feel about confident in both. Two more questions, guys. Don't give away all the things, obviously, but when you're in the slot, when it's